Hey everyone, welcome to the Lace Up Tutorial Series. Today I'm going to show you how to receive a purchase order in QuickBooks and increase the stock or the on hand for a particular item. This is going to be done through an item receipt. Once the item has been received into stock, I'm then going to show you how the on hand reflects in the Lace Up application. The Lace Up application is going to show the stock levels or the on hands for all of your items out in the field so that the sales reps can determine whether or not a particular item has enough stock to be sold to a customer. If you look at QuickBooks here, I'm going to go over to my item list. Within the item list, we're going to be paying attention to Caracolio Coffee, which has 100 on hand. I've created a purchase order for Caracolio Coffee that I've sent to the vendor so that the vendor can deliver me more product. If we go to Vendors and Vendor Center, we can see that here's a purchase order for Caracolio Coffee Mills. I'm going to open that purchase order and see that I've ordered 15 Caracolio coffees. Now let's assume that the delivery finally arrives in my warehouse and I want to accept this into inventory. To accept it into inventory, I go to Create Item Receipt. I'm then going to click down here where the system is going to ask me there are open purchase orders that exist for this vendor. I do want to receive against one of these purchase orders. When I hit yes, it's going to automatically pull up the purchase order number. Then I'm going to hit OK. Automatically, it's going to import that, the purchase order that I created for 15 Caracolio coffees. To officially accept this inventory into my on hand, I'm going to simply click Save and Close. Now if you see it reads received in full for the purchase order 15 Caracolio coffees. Let's go look at the on hand. If you look now the on hand is 115. Now I'm going to go ahead and sync this new stock level with Lace Up. Now to get that to show up on the handheld located here, you're going to go to Menu, Sync Data from Server. This is a phone that I have sitting here in my lap. In this case we're using an Android but it can be done on both iPhone or Android. To the view the newest stock level for Caracolio Coffee, we go to a customer, we go to Sales Order, and you can now see there's 115 Caracolio Coffees available. I'm going to go ahead and create an order for 15 and then I'm going to send this order. Once the order is sent, it's going to go to the back office located here for processing. Here it will be printed where it will be given to your warehouse guy or gal so that it can be picked, packed and prepared for delivery. If you open process orders, here's the order I've just sent. I'm going to go ahead and Print the picking ticket. If you look, 15 Caracolio coffees. This is going to be given to the picker. The picker is going to go to the warehouse and look if there's 15. If there's not 15, the picker is going to simply write any modifications to this in this field. When this document is returned, the person inside of the office can make adjustments to the order. Once the order is fully adjusted, you can then print it as a finalized invoice. Here's the invoice, Caracolio Coffee for 15. Lastly, I'm going to export this into QuickBooks and show you how the stock level is going to decrease. If you now look, the on hand is 100. So what did we just do? We accepted a purchase order for one of our items. That purchase order brought 15 Caracolio coffees which increased our on hand from 100 to 115. After receiving that purchase order, we went over to the Lathop app and recreated a sales order for 15. 
We sent that sales order to the back office where it was processed, and then we were able to invoice the customer. Once the customer was invoiced, we exported it to QuickBooks, and that export diminished the inventory by the 15 that we just invoiced. Thank you for watching this latest installment of the Lace Up Tutorial series. Please visit our website at www.laceupsolutions.com for more information on our product and more tutorials. Lastly, please subscribe to our channel for daily uploads on the system and on QuickBooks. Thank you and have a great day.